Today we're going to talk about the often forgot, the frequently minimized, the clutter on your phone screen. Yes, today we're going to talk about the histogram. Coming right up. So welcome back guys and thanks for stopping by. Understanding the histogram is a simple way to instantly improve all of your videos and all of your photos. So what is the histogram and how do I use it? So the histogram is nothing more than a representation of the overall exposure coming out of your camera. Simply put, it keeps things from being too light or too dark. The left side represents the shadows and the blacks and the right side represents the highlights and the whites, and the middle area represents the midtones. Pretty simple, right? The main thing that a histogram tells us is that if an image or video is exposed properly or not. Ideally, you want to expose your shot that so that your histogram is touching all the way from the left side of the histogram all the way to the right side without piling up on either side. You want almost a, a nice mountain effect right in the middle with no no building up on either side. However, with most things in life, it does depend. So let's look at a couple of examples. Here's a, here's a good example of one that's properly exposed. You can see a, uh, a mountain kind of in the middle of the histogram there, and it goes from left to right. And then if you look on the left-hand side, there's a gap on the left and a gap on the right, and that's exactly what you wanna see. And you don't see anything really piling up off the side, indicating that it's overexposed. And this is the easiest shot because I have the sunlight directly behind me, so I don't have to contend with any totally washed out areas. Here's an example of a dark shot, and it is underexposed a little bit. Um, here I think is how I had it set just, just a little while ago. But it is 7.58 in the morning, so there's not a lot of light in the sky anyway. I'm pointing straight down. This is directly after the previous shot I just took. So I want to lighten this up a little bit. And you can see that it's underexposed because all the, the profile of the histogram was kind of pushing over to the left-hand side, and then it kind of drops straight off the left-hand side of the profile. Now correct, to correct this, you don't necessarily want to make this in the middle, right? I mean, I could put, you know, I could put that in the middle like that, and that really lightens up the picture or the video, but that's not necessarily what I want because when I go from flying this shot and I and I pan back up so now this is overexposed so I don't want that either so I kind of want to have find a happy medium just something to think about now with if you're shooting photos instead of videos I would say to shoot to get everything exposed exactly the way you want it um, but but still I kind of like it's not that you want to make the shadows perfectly light, you just want to add some kind of detail to the shadows so that the, so that the data isn't lost. Okay, let's move on to a full-fledged sun-in-your-face shot. Okay, so here's a shot where we're basically perfectly overexposed. I didn't change the settings at all from when I was doing the bottom shot where I was looking straight down, and this is what I mean. So as soon as you bring the gimbal back up, now I'm looking directly into the sun and the sunlight is all the way on the right hand side. You can see that white peaking almost off the charts there. And then it's, uh, and then it's almost, then there's like the mountains in the middle of the histogram. So what can you do to correct that? All right, so let's bring it down a little bit. And again, this is not gonna be perfect because you're shooting video, you're flying a drone, you're for, for all intents going in circles, right? I mean, you're, you're always flying around things so you just want to get it as average as possible for the overall exposure. That way you're going to have, you're always going to have some things that are maybe a little bit too light. Um, but it's hopefully you don't have too many things that are too light and too many things that are too dark. But you're always going to have some of each because that's just the compromise you have to, have to make when you're shooting video. Unless you expose for each little video clip in each direction. 
which I don't think is feasible for most people. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down. And as you see, as you can see, as I bring it down, you start to get a lot more color. But see, in this case, I've actually brought the exposure down too much, and so now my shadows are piling up on the left-hand side. So that's too much. So right there, you kind of see I've got some shadows below the horizon, and then I've got um, not too bad with the highlights. So I should be able to, to edit that in post and add some pretty good color here without too much trouble. Now if I start if I start increasing the exposure and lightening it back up, see how white the, the sky gets? And it is fairly light. I mean, it's this is not like a deep blue sky. It's uh, definitely very white because it's so bright out. But anyway, I would bring it down enough to get rid of that spike on the right-hand side of the the uh, histogram. Right, so I just brought that down. You got rid of that spike that goes off the side on the right-hand side. And that will be a pretty much perfectly exposed shot for the video. That way you've got a little bit of a gap on the left-hand side where the shadows are. You can bring it down a little bit if you wanted to. I don't think it's necessary, but you could. And then on the right-hand side, you've got a little bit of a gap as well to work with but you don't have anything spiking off the histogram in either case. And so that's what basically what you're shooting for. And I'm kind of doing this, I kind of look around while I'm flying, I kind of just glance down from time to time. I don't, I don't obsess over the histogram. I mainly set it when I, when I start out and then I just leave it as is. And you know, and kind of just hope for the best really. But so anyway guys, the important thing to keep in mind here is that these are all just guidelines. There are no hard fast rules that say you have to keep your shadows perfectly in sync with the, with the highlights. A lot of this is up to your per personal preference. This is more of a way just to make sure that you're not losing data when you have too many darks or that turn out totally black or you have highlights that are just totally blown out and you have whites. This is a, a way of just properly exposing so that you can have that data and you can make color corrections in post or that you can just have a, a good video straight out of the camera. Sometimes you might just want to have a darker, a darker video if you want to create a certain mood in your video or a brighter video if you want to create something, you know, like a more energetic feel to your video, uh, things like that. So it's totally up to your preference. So anyway guys, if you didn't know what a histogram was for, I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you found ways that you can use the histogram to your advantage. I really hope that this allows you to get that perfect shot or that perfect video. So as always guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video.